thought I'd make a tutorial on progress bars in C-sharp. So I'm going to show you how to make an interactive progress bar and also to make one that loads automatically. So we're going to open up Visual Studio here. We're going to create a new project and I'm going to name it progress bar. If I can get in that box there. Alright. So what we're going to need for this is obviously a progress bar and we're going to start off with the one that loads automatically. So I'm just going to resize our form. I'm going to type in progress bar. Hit enter. Click on our form. Sorry about that. And now we have our progress bar. So I'm going to resize this. Just make it as big as the form. It's going to seem kind of weird. Normally you don't see them this big. But uh, that's what we got. So down here we can see the style is blocks, so that's it'll load um, up to 100 from 0 to 100. Um, there are also these things called continuous and marking. So basically what these both do are they just cycle through, they keep going, it's one of those that you see it moves from the end to the beginning there and then back and just keeps going and going. You never know when it's going to end. This step is something that you use in the code, you can say progress bar 1.step and it will automatically go forward that many. So we can see here that we have our minimum, or there are our maximum, and our minimum. We're going to set our minimum to 0 and our maximum to 100. So the minimum this progress bar can be is 0, and the maximum is going to be 100. Now we're going to drag in a timer. Type in timer, hit enter, and we're going to click on this timer, click enable to true, and we're going to change this to 1000 milliseconds or 1 second. Now we're going to double click on our timer, and we're going to type progress bar 1, dot and then value equals progress bar one dot value plus one so this is basically going to add one to the value what you can also do is progress bar one dot step actually it's sorry it's perf perform step and that would increment up by 10. We're going to just do 1. So now whenever the timer ticks, which is every second, it's going to um, go up the value by 1. We're going to debug and we can see that every second we have it going up by 1. So now that we have that, we can go back into our form and now we're going to do the interactive progress bar, which is going to change the value when we move a slider. We're going to delete this timer and we're going to have a track bar. I'm going to drag the track bar on and I'm going to drag it so it's as big as the progress bar. I'm going to go over here, tick frequency to 1 and I'm going to go to our maximum and change it to 100. Now we're going to double click on this and we're going to say progress bar 1 dot value equals track bar 1 dot value. Pretty simple. Now we're going to click start to start our debug and we're going to drag our uh, track bar and now you can see that our progress bar follows suit. What you can also do is have um, something that when you're completing, uh, when you press a button it uh, goes to the next step. So we can drag some buttons on here and this would obviously not be exactly what you're looking for. You'd have um, separate forms but this is basically an example. So I'm going to copy this button three times align it here. We're just going to leave it button 1, button 2, and button 3. So if we divide 100 by 3, it's basically 33.3 .3 repeated. So we can do progress by 1, that value on our button 1 equals 33, and that's basically one third of 100. Now on progress bar 2, I got these messed up, sorry about that. I'm going to drag them there, rearrange them so they're in order. We can do progress bar one dot value equals basically 66. Now we can go back to our button three, double click it, progress bar one dot value equals basically round it off to 100. Now on your forms, you would say whenever you load your new form, you'd have your progress bar move to that next amount, however many forms divided by basically um, how long and stuff. So let's see we have a uh, error here and that's from before. Forgot to delete that. Sorry about that. That should not occur in your program. 
So now button one, we get one third, button two, two thirds, button three, one hundred percent. What you can also do is put some text on here that shows you how much you have loaded. So we're going to drag a label on. We're going to change our text to nothing. So we're just going to type over here, click nothing. And over here in our button one, we're going to say label one dot text equals progress bar one dot value dot to string. And then we're going to do plus percent sign in quotes so it's telling it it's a string character so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy that I'm going to paste it in all of these and it should be working because we are not using any specific text we are using the progress bars value so now if we debug we have 33 percent 66 percent and 100 percent so thank you for watching this tutorial um, let me know if there's anything I can help you with or any video requests that you would like. Thank you for watching.